It is time once again for the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. When we play the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament, we use the real people as guides to different degrees. And I have been reflecting on what I've been doing with this game of Carnaxis so far, and feeling like I'm using this card, which is like the um, character our real people are playing as in the game, I've been using that more than the real people to kind of direct play, which is kind of just ends up me kind of playing the game on autopilot with just little suggestions from the, the real people. Um, part of that is because I've not had a lot of time, so I've just been kind of like trying to jam in in little breaks during work, um, filming a little bit. Um, but today is a, is a weekend, and I have some time. Um, my son's away. So I think we're going to try to shift gears a little bit and spend more time thinking about things from the real people's perspective. Go instead of just having them suggest, let them get in the driver's seat a little more. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I apologize. I've been making so many mistakes so far. Um, so it's, it's a little a, a shameful that we're on year four. We're about to go into year five, I guess. And so like the first part of their lives has just been kind of informed by um, kind of not really thinking about decisions, but maybe that's that's how it could be. Maybe people aren't thinking when they're young, but maybe they are. I don't know. I'm not going to make any suppositions about that. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's make ourselves feel better by doing better, right? All right. All right, before we can make things better, though, we get to draw a card. We get a little bonus even before we put in the work. Beneficiaries, the insurance company made an error in their books. Players who are insured receive 30000 from the bank. No one's insured. Um, yeah. Also, players who have not completed their senior year of college receive 10000 Those who have completed it receive 30000 So we get a, we're going to do quite a few payouts as well as add money to there. And then I'll join you again when it comes time to do turns. So Smudge could go to work. He would get $30,000, but then he would be taxed on that, so it would be $15,000 unless he went to an accountant on his next turn. But that would be his whole turn just to get $25,000. Instead, he's going to go to unemployment since there's $30,000 there. That doesn't get taxed at all. And he gets to go first next turn. That's pretty good for him. I think his plan this, this round is going to be to um, do that and then go to university on his next turn, which will be able, he could probably, let's see, he can do any plus two to any attributes. And what he's thinking about doing is going for this advertising firm because he's got the high charisma already. And then he just needs to bump up his attributes uh, three more times. And then he would be able to get that. Uh, actually, five more times because he'd probably, depending on how much money he has, but I don't, to get these level fours, it costs 170000 So it would help to complete his Carnaxis. So maybe by like year eight, he might be able to do it unless he takes out a loan. Um, so that's what Smudge is looking at doing right now. Let's go on to Sid. All right, Sid's looking at maybe becoming a school teacher. She has the perfect attributes for it. Four is in the first three there. Um... The problem is it puts her in a really bad tax bracket. If you're at the, it puts her just above, well, she'd, she'd be pulling in with her business more than that. So it's not as bad as it looks. Um, she could also mitigate the tax problem by getting an accountant, which would cost her 10,000 per year, which is, um, which is less than the amount that she saves. And then if she gets the school teacher job, what she could do is just get another job next year and work both jobs for a year, and that would give her the salary that she needs to do that part of her Carnaxis. And then she just has to get 20 business growth, you know, just spend the rest of her time doing that, and then she's got her Carnaxis done. So that might be a good move, and I think Sid would like to be a teacher. Though we did say we would consult more. Let's consult more together. Let's look at Sid. Travel agent, Sid, Mary Mel Gibson, Flip Drive and Traffic, Tom Cruise. Mm, she'd like to skip classes. I don't think she would really like to be a school teacher, actually. Um, I don't think that's the type of life she's looking at for herself. So what other jobs could she take? Because she needs more money to put into her business. Um, 
So she's, she could just focus heavily on growth, or she could go to school and go for that consultancy job, or even go for the tax collector. And I think maybe she would rather go big than waste her time as a teacher. Yeah, so she's going to go to university, and I'm glad we listened to Sid. Um, it's important to be a good listener and not just a talker. Um, because if she gets to be the tax collector, she's going to get a 60000 no, 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 $30,000 discount on her taxes, which, you know, that's going to be, she'll be paying 30 thousand instead of 60,000 because she'll be going up to this bracket I think pretty soon but she won't have to pay any taxes as long as she stays under a hundred thousand a year uh, which she won't be staying as, as a tax collector um, with her business as it grows because right now it's got it's worth 15,000 and it's going to go up at least to 22,000 so I think this year she's going to be paying um, just under here so she's going to she's not going to have to pay any taxes this year very nice, provided her plan goes through. Someone else could maybe take that tax collector job, but I don't think anyone... Well, actually, watermelon is close. Here's where t turn order really matters. Um, three, five. She doesn't quite have the accounting to do it, so she, or the handiness, so watermelon could be trying to go to university for that tax collector job as well, but not be able to get it. We'll see what watermelon decides to do, but first we have to have Cowboy's turn. Let's let Cowboy talk. So Cowboy is tired of being a police officer. He's going to get rid of this, not go to work. He would like to go into business for himself. He, he enjoys driving a truck for himself. He would like to do construction um, because he's almost qualified. He just has to learn a little bit about accounting. So he's going to go to university as well, um, bump up his accounting too. And he's got to pay, well, he's going to have to pay a lot later. But. Kaz and Kat's turn. She's going to go ahead with her plan to um, buy the cell phone sales business. So this will be her first business of the game. A nice 7,000 growth just for starting that up. Um, cell phone sales, I guess, is, is pretty lucrative. Um, oh, I have to give her a stock thing. Let's give her a stock thing. Right there, and she's going to get five shares in her cell phone business. Iteras and Ty has to decide whether to go to work. Here again, we have another tax issue. Um, she would like to buy this furniture store business. Remember, she's trying to open up four businesses, the, the, the cheaper businesses, which is what she wanted to go for, are getting snapped up. So she feels like she needs to get one quick. And if she does get that, that's going to put her, her in the, uh, the bad end of this tax bracket where she's going to have to pay a lot. Um, and if she went to work, she wouldn't be able to hire an accountant in the same turn, you know, hire an accountant, buy the store, etc. So she's going to give up being a dental assistant, which was a nice job, um, and instead go ahead and buy that furniture store before someone else gets it. 60000 You want to get the stores that are down here, if possible, because um, they give you more growth in general, and they cost the same amount as the ones above it. So furniture store is better than the car dealership. So she bought that. Now, if she had enough money, I think she would be able to um, start up the car dealership as well. She might want to take a loan just so that she can get it before someone else gets it. We'll have to see. Do, do some listening to Tater as in top. But now it's Smudge again. Smudge is going to be the first player to fulfill their Carnaxis. That means he gets $100,000. That's really nice for him. Um, with, and also at the end of the game, so I have this rules update that was printed out. I don't know if I did it or if it came in the game. But you, he gets another 100000 at the end of the game. So that's, that's really, really nice to fulfill your Cornexus. That's 200000 100000 that you can actually use during the game. And 100000 that that's just for your victory. Victory money that you get after... 12 years have passed. Doesn't get it now, but he will get it later. We'll just have to remember that Smudge fulfilled his Carnaxis. Okay, Sid got her tax collector job. That's going to be a good money maker for her, as well as a nice tax discount, as we've also already discussed. Um, Cowboy used up all his money 
to open up his construction business, kind of mirroring a little bit real life, um, he, except in real life he took loans out to um, to, to buy his uh, his truck that he he's a cross country trucker, a long haul trucker. Um, he didn't have to take any loans, but he did spend everything he has, and he's only going to be getting an income of nine thousand, which is kind of rough because he needs to be able to go to university in order to um, get the attributes he needs to fulfill his Carnaxis, which of course he wants to do. Let's move on. Ooh, and we are going to move on. It's Kaz and Cat. She's going to spend that five thousand. She gets a discount, remember on the Carnaxis cards, and we get the pleasure of drawing a new card and seeing what it does. It's a big pay raise, plus 30,000 salary. You can hold on this card and use it when you wish. When you use it, place your current job card on this card and receive an additional, as long as you keep the job. So if she gets a job, which she doesn't have, she can use this to just make it pay more all the time. Um, I think this is probably a good time to use the business boost. I don't know why we would wait on that. So going to roll this, and this is going to add to her business growth, I think. Is it growth or income? Business growth, that's even better than income. So up to 10. So yeah, she's she's got a lot going, going for her, Kaz and Kat. Let's look at Watermelon. Last turn, um, she had bumped up her thing so that she could become the tax collector. Unfortunately, Sid did that before she could. So now she has to decide what she wants to do with herself. She's trying to get business growth and get attributes. Um, she doesn't have the money to open. Well, she could advertise. She could get growth through advertising. She could also do personal study. Um, is she the type who would want to take out a loan in order to like add to her business? Let's take a look. Oh, you know, and something I'm forgetting is people can franchise other b businesses. I should look at franchising because you she could just get the growth that way. Like maybe these aren't so rivalrous. I, I need to look at franchises and then we'll then we'll talk to watermelon. I know I've been talking a lot, but all right, yeah, so it's the same as these, except there can only be nine in the game. So there is a a degree of rivalrousness. And if you if you buy a franchise, you have to pay the person. So you're essentially like helping someone else out to do that. That might be still interesting for Tater and Todd because she can meet her Carnaxis cheaply through, you know, just paying a little bit of money to these people. Um, well, it's not a little bit, it's $20,000. That's, that's a, but that's cheaper than doing these and then get a bunch of money in a hundred thousand from the Carnaxis and then a hundred thousand later and use that to, to get one of these bigger ones. That might be a good way for her to go. Uh, but let's talk to Watermelon a little bit. Watermelon, you need some business growth. You need to get 20. Um, and you could use the income too, so you can pay for university. Auditor, Watermelon, famous actors, Oregon, Cookbook, Boston Drivers, Catherine Hepburn, C'est la vie, Bookworm, Determined, Creative, Energetic. I don't think she's the type who would want to go into debt, actually. And I don't think she would mind paying someone else to increase her growth. So she could she could afford the twenty thousand. She could pay someone twenty thousand. Uh, does she want to do that, or does she want to just advertise? So if she pays someone twenty thousand. She gets you know three thousand growth. If she advertises, which is half the cost, she gets two thousand gross growth. Why not just advertise? I think that's probably the better move for you, Watermelon. I think you agree with me on that. So let's go ahead and bump that up to eight. She just needs 12 more on that and quite a few more attributes in order to meet her Carnaxis. Tater as and Todd is going to actually help Watermelon out. She's going to get her $20,000. She's going to get five shares in the bookshop. Uh, Tater is purple. And she'll get a franchise, which lets her bump up her schminker by four to eight. So they actually have the same business growth now. That's kind of nice. 
All right, before we close out, I just thought I'd let you know how everyone is doing. We've gone through taxes and all of that. So Smudge currently, if the game were to end right now, he would be, he would win. He has 189,000 that Carnaxis definitely gave him a boost. So he doesn't really have much income, however. He, he got $1,000 is all this time around. Um, so he's got a lot of cash on hand, but he's not making anything. Uh, Sid, on the other hand, has a, quite a bit of cash on hand. As number two, she has 118000 and she's got a great income with her tax collector job. Now, next year, it's not going to be quite so good because um, unless she gets an accountant, which I think that's probably, probably might be a priority because if she gets an accountant, then she's not going to have to pay any taxes. And then so she's going to be pulling in you know, 70000 plus her business income, which is 22000 so that's really high. Um, and then she can just be using that money to pump up her craft shop and get her Carnaxis, which is going to bump her up higher. She's looking like a strong player at this point in the game. Next up is Watermelon. Watermelon doesn't have much income at all, but she, I guess she's just not been spending that much. I don't know. She, uh, yeah, she, she has 58000 I don't know if I said that. So not that much higher than the other people, relatively speaking. She's like a big jump away from Sid anyway. And getting kind of close to our Canaxis. Her, her, her Canaxis is kind of expensive. She has to bump up the business growth and keep going to university or doing personal study. But you'd probably want to do university. So kind of tough. Um, not a lot of income either that she's getting uh, each year. That brings us to... Kaz and Cat. Kaz and Cat's actually very close. She only has twenty five thousand, but if you include this retirement token, she has fifty five thousand. Would be end of game. So I guess he would have two hundred some two hundred eighty nine thousand if this was the end of the game. Um, she's really just got to keep finding ways to use her Carnaxis cards to to help make things work because she's got all her eggs in that basket. Um, maybe what might be her next goal is to try and improve her attribute. Think about what job she wants to end the game with, right? And use her, um, get the attributes for that, get that job, use this to bump up the salary, and then just keep getting Carnaxis cards to do other stuff and let her business just kind of do whatever. Of course, these Carnaxis cards could give her other options as well. So that's what she's looking at. And then finally, nope, not finally, we have Tater as in Tot, who has only 20,000. She's halfway to her Carnaxis, and now that I finally read up on franchises, that shouldn't be too hard, except that she doesn't have a lot of income either. She's making uh, 18,000 a year, so next year it'll be 26,000 if her, assuming her business doesn't grow. She might need to take a loan in order to, to get those her business pumped up. Um, I don't know. And then finally, we have Cowboy. He has 4000 He used up all of his money. And 4000 that's what he got as income after taxes. So, you know, he's got a business growth of nine, though. So that'll jump up nine every turn for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, he, a little tough because he, he needs to be going to university a lot. He has to bump up his um, handiness to 12 and his charisma to nine, so he's got to bump it up 10 more times, which is like five more years of university before he can even get the job. He might definitely need to take out a loan, which is something he has experience with. So we'll find out what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, where we are playing Carnaxis in the English leg. <laughs>